the world's only accredited teaching hospital on board an aircraft, has commenced the three-week training program of the Zambian health personnel. This is the second time that the Obis Flying Eye Hospital is in the country to train eye care professionals from Zambia. Maurice Gary, director of Obis Flying Eye Hospital, says 80 professionals are being trained. This was during the welcome ceremony of the Flying Eye Hospital at Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. Orbis has a history in Zambia for more than a decade, and we couldn't be happier to be continuing our journey together through this project. This is the second time the Flying Eye Hospital has held training projects in Zambia, with the first project taking place in 2012 in Kitwe Training Eye Hospital. And Vice President Mutalena Lumango said the visit by the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital will help improve the quality of eye health care in Zambia. This was contained in a speech read on her behalf by Lands and Natural Resources Minister Elijah Muchima. This training will enhance the skills of our eye care teams hosted by the UTH's eye hospital. Through this project, the knowledge and the skills that will be shared and taught will contribute to a more thriving health society. Health Minister Sylvia Masebo, who was represented by Lusaka Province Minister Shio Muliata, said the Flying Eye Hospital is a game-changing initiative. Flying Eye Hospital is not just a masterpiece full of medical experts. It is a sign of our unwavering commitment to ensuring access to eye health for all. And UTHI Hospital Senior Medical Superintendent Zipporah Piri bemoaned the low levels of ophthalmologists in the country. In Zambia, where the population is 19.4 million, there are only 15 of the 50 ophthalmologists. This gives us a ratio of one doctor for approximately every 400,000 people. And this is below the WHO's minimum accepted standard. The Flying Eye Project which commenced on September 25, will run until October 13, 2023. Sharon Siame, ZNBC News, Lusaka.